and hello everyone, welcome to today uh, and our Ben Yusan video. Um, and first of all, before we start, we hit 600 subscribers. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, so there will be some sort of uh, big special coming up soon. Uh, I'm thinking of maybe delaying it a week just uh, because I've got um, some big things to do. Um, but um, yeah, it, I promise you it will come. <laughs> uh, but just not yet. But thank you all for 600. Um, but today's video is about Malaga Airport in Spain, uh, and, well, here it is, it's, it's down very far in the south, um, a very popular destination for British people, <laughs> almost one of the most popular in the entirety of Spain and Europe, and maybe even the world, um, in terms of holiday travel at least, uh, we're not that far from Gibraltar, you can even see it. Um, at, at times, especially from the air a little bit more. Uh, other close airports are Granada uh, and Moron. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but um, we're not here for the other airports. We are here to look at the runway here. Um, well, there are two, um, but we're looking at the more used one, uh, specifically runway 3 1. Um, you may have seen on yesterday's stream, um, I did the landing here on X-Plane, and the runway was fine, but um, I'm just going to make a very quick kind of speed taxi out to the runway in the beginning. You may have just seen it there as we spin out, and <laughs> it would be nice if we could go in a straight line. But yeah, you can just see it, and it's very weird. Um, sometimes that effect happens at other airports, but I just want to prove that uh, all the way down this runway, there is this weird cubing effect. Oh, this will have to do, won't it? Yeah, we'll come. We'll go down here. Yeets. So you can see there's this weird square thing and it's all blurry and you cannot even see the wrong way um, however this isn't just because the scenery is broken there is a specific reason for this um, I know Malaga isn't the only airport with this however it's it's one of a few and it's mainly due to the fact that um, it's kind of a bit of military you know Spanish military stuff going on with this taxiway as well. Um, it, it's just part of military base, and they might store some important aircraft here. Um, and obviously, they don't want that being on proper satellite scenery, um, which would explain why it was available on X plane because you obviously can't see that taxiway, and I don't actually recall it being there when we came in for our landing. Maybe it was, I just can't remember. <laughs> but, um, it did exist. So, you can take off on that wrong way, it's obviously fine to do, but you can't see what's going on underneath it. It's just cubed. And you can see from where it's cubed, it's very specific to just that wrong way in the airport. It doesn't go any further, maybe a little bit out. Um, out here, but that's that's about it. Uh, and as you can see, the other runway is fine. So that that's why it's uh, obviously a military thing. But um, I mean, I'd attempt to land on a you know a difficult runway, no markings. But uh, I don't really use <laughs> I haven't really used the markings recently. Let's be honest here, have I? Um, so we'll just stick a Phenom inverted. Why don't we do that? But uh, as for MFS, I'm assuming it's probably all right there as well because um, it, it's it's just yeah, you know, it's just the runway, and uh, it's as much as it's taken from satellite thing, it's all developed up from it. So that might. <laughs> just be the reason as to why GOFS has a broken runway here at Malaga. 
and let's crash into a river. <laughs> oh, let's miss the river. And maybe not crash into any buildings. Or we might have no choice. <laughs> oh. Well, uh, I'm, ju I'm judging from the fact that we've already crashed. I'm thinking that's probably where we'll end this video. Um, so thank you for coming and watching. Uh, apologies, it's a little short. Um, but, yeah, now you know why the runway here at Malaga is broken. Thanks for watching.